Welcome back to Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Welcoming back, representing Child Advocates, the lovely Ashley Brockett. Hello. Good to see you. Nice to see you. And you have brought along Miss Kelly St. Mary, who is with the McDonald's Houston's Children's Festival. Good, Good morning. morning to you. Good morning. It is. I'm like, wow, it's that time of year again. It is. Already. Already. With a blink of an eye. I know, right? I mean, Because each year it gets bigger and bigger. But before we get into... Uh, the Children's Festival, the McDonald's Houston Children's Festival. Um, Ashley, you know, you get a lot of people moving in here to Houston. Yeah. You may not be familiar with everything that child advocates uh, do. So th- just explain real quick what it is that you all do Yeah, over there. so Child Advocates is a 34-year-old organization. We've been 34. around since 19, I know, 1984. And in that time, we have helped over 25,000 children in Harris County that have been put into CPS or brought into CPS because they've been abused and neglected. And what we do is we train everyday people just like you and me um, Mm -hmm. to come in and speak up for children who have uh, been brought into care um, and to help them find a permanent, safe and a loving home as fast as they can. Um, We want to make sure that um, while they're in care, too, that they're getting all their needs met, whether it's therapy, medical, educational, um, even things like clothing, a bed of their own, stuff like that. So we work with our court systems and with CPS and foster families, but we are there for the best interest of that child and make sure that everything that we can do to help that child um, come through care and get out of care as fast as they can into the best possible home. That's good. That's that's amazing. Um, Child advocates, I know that this, and you don't have to answer or uh, (laughs) if you want to stay away from it, it's totally fine it, as you were talking and everything that child advocate does uh-huh. for uh children mm-hmm. you all's thoughts on the children in parkland florida that is taking the lead here they are mm-hmm. acting like the adults in the it's situation amazing. to get you know some sort of uh, gun reform um done since you all's name is child advocates i, I don't know what the talk around the <laughs> office has been but i think it's absolutely incredible well, that these kids are taking this on themselves yeah well i think the the whole thing is is you know when you so just from my perspective um and the child advocates perspective if you're able to surround a child with support Mm -hmm. um and love and encouragement the they can do impossible things and so many of our kids um don't have that they come from homes where their mom and their dad abuse them or neglect Mm -hmm. them Mm -hmm. and so they don't have those opportunities in that support so we want to find them homes where they have that possibility to thrive and have that expectation to where they can do anything and they can be these remarkable citizens that stand up for what they believe is right yeah and and it's a voice yeah it's a voice they're Mm -hmm. given a voice yeah, and and it's things like the McDonald's Houston's Children's Festival uh, teaming with you all that brings it all mm-hmm. in together. So Kelly, you know, last year was pretty big. What new and exciting things are we going oh, to see this year at exciting. the McDonald's Houston Children's Festival? We had just confirmed Anthony Gonzalez. He is the voice of Miguel oh, from oh, the movie oh. Disney Pixar movie Coco. They yeah, just won an they, Oscar. He's yeah. going to be there and he's going to sing on the McDonald's stage. Oh wow! So we just confirmed that. So pretty exciting. I love. I think it's adorable. Have, I don't know if you watched the movie. It's so cute. No, I haven't seen Coco. I oh didn't see God, that. So how it won that one? Coco. Is yeah. So it's a tearjerker. Is it's it? So great. It's so um, and we, we're also going to have Paw Patrol. Oh, Paw Patrol. Yeah, oh, Paw Patrol. Come oh, on now. Oh, they are the most popular. Chase and, and Marshall will be there too. They're going to be on the McDonald's stage as well, doing okay. photo ops and uh, they can't do auto Paw. A graph, mm-hmm. but they could take pictures. A paw a graph. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back too. Right, That's always the, a fan favorite. They're going to be oh, on yeah. the Savick yeah. stage in the Super Science Zone. We got McDonald's bringing their French ride truck. We're going to have the uh, Teddy Bear Clinic by Signature Care. And one really cool thing for those sports fans is Metro PCS is bringing the FIFA 18 gaming zone. Oh, nice. Which is pretty cool because we're celebrating this uh, World Cup coming up. Yep. Uh, Houston's summer. in the running for, uh, Houston's actually in the running to host the World Cup in uh, 2026. We 20, isn't that that. exciting? Yeah, I know, right? We were talking about the demographics earlier. Yes, early, yes. Our event hits over 151 zip codes. 
Wow. That's how, I mean, that's our surveys. Like you guys average, we, if, I, if I'm not being yeah. too extra, it's around it's, a million, about 1.2, 1.5 that weekend. Is that? Well, okay, that's, that's a little extra. A little, we'll take okay. It. <laughs> we'll <laughs> take it. No. I well, mean, that's it just things that I've well, heard, like in passing, like, right. you know, there's it's, like a million is, people that come is, through. It's a lot of people, for sure. I mean, it's the largest children's festival in the United States. Right. It is literally over 16 downtown blocks. Downtown Houston, April seventh and eighth. You can't. Miss it's it. always a blast. It's so fun. It yeah, is. I mean, no, and, and yeah. I'm a grown. I'm a whole grown man, yeah. and I yeah. come down and I have fun yeah. with the kids. It's fun. Houston is good on festivals. You need to come out. Bring your family. It's a good time. Good, eat some great funnel cake and turkey legs. <laughs> Go eat some and, hot French fries from the McDonald's area. It is, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. And it's over 300 free activities for the kids. I over mean, 300. Over 300 free activities. Wow. You pay the gate, and you get. I mean, you get to see the stars yeah. as well. You go there on site. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. I will say this. Make sure you got on some comfortable sneakers. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> that, fit. yeah, because I mean, the, toward the end of the stuff. festival um, on on a Saturday, like, you know, just w- seeing the parents walk around like, uh, and then you look in the stroller, the kid <laughs> they're, they're, is out. out. Yeah. They're, right they're all we out. Had, yeah. We had rides, games, food, We were everything. talking about that a few years ago. I had yeah. a, a friend who sent us a sent me a picture she's like i'm going to the festival my kids are so excited and the the before pictures the kids all bright-eyed and excited and at the end of the day she sent me a picture she goes i think we had fun and the after picture is they're all in their strollers just sleeping right (laughs) right (laughs) that's hilarious they they had fun right (laughs) accomplished a deed right you're listening to access houston we're talking to ashley brockett from child advocates and kelly st mary representing the mcdonald's houston's children's festival which is saturday Saturday, April the 7th, and Sunday, April the 8th, from 8.30 until 6.30. Very special um, this year because it's the 30th It's our 30th anniversary. Been around that long. How about it's, that? 30 it's years. Awesome. What does that feel like? Ooh. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with the uh, festival since 2001. I myself. Oh, wow. Have, See, oh, oh, you got some oh, years, yeah, Kelly. Right. Oh, thank you. Um, no, absolutely. It's been around that long, and people stay. They they come back. I mean, they bring back their kids now. It is a good feel family event. Um, yeah. It's the mayor's official family event of the year. Mm-hmm. So it's because of that very good yeah. reason. And then, of course, you know, teaming up with child advocates and oh, everything that you do to try to make sure that yeah, an incredible yeah. Um, partnership. Um, you need more advocates, yes, Ashley. Yes, yes, yes. How can people uh, be a part? So the the quickest thing is is if you have the heart and you have a little bit of extra time. I'm. This is not a come in and help with one time and walk out the door that day mm-hmm. kind of a volunteer activity. But if you have the desire to truly make an impact in the life of a child and you want that hands-on experience, this is a good place for you. So you go to childadvocates.org. We walk you through, a, it's 30 hours of training. It sounds mm-hmm. intimidating, but we break it across on online, some in person. Okay. Oh, it's got done over a couple of weeks. Um, we have a few trainings coming up in April, actually. Um, and you go through the training, you do the, a quick interview, you have to do a background check because you're helping kids, mm-hmm. so, right? right? You have to be 21. Mm-hmm. Um, but we walk you through it. We're going to walk you through it. We're going to get you through the training and then we're going to assign you to a case. And even after you're done with the training, we're going to give you somebody on staff that will walk you through the court process, that'll walk you through the home visits, that will walk you through all the tools and trade that you need to get to be a successful advocate to help advocate for children who need it. it. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a heart, you can do it. You know, and that's something that I always hear, you know, people, I have friends that will tell me, you know, I don't know how that you do that and Mm -hmm. and once you get into the door you i have so many volunteers that you know will come back and say i don't know how i didn't do it Hmm. because you know we want you to stay around for one case and hopefully after that case is done hopefully you have the capacity and the heart to take on another one um and we've had several volunteers that have been with us for over 20 years they've been doing it for 20 years i have one mom who is a one volunteer who's a mom of three um, a partner at a law firm, mm-hmm. and has been doing this for almost 25 years. Wow. And um, There's a need. 
There is a need. We have over 4,000 kids on any given day in Harris County that are in CPS, that mm. custody. They are in foster care because they've been abused and neglected and have been removed from their homes. So all the comforts, whether it was a, a terrible situation, everything that that child has known has now changed. And um, last year we were to, able to help about half of the kids who needed us. And this year we hope to help even more, but we can't do it without our community. Indeed. Indeed. You wanted to add on to that, Kelly? That That's part of the reason why um, our festival exists is for those children. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's, there's so many families out there that, that need a smile. They need some enjoyment and whether they're going through child advocates or they've, they're just have a good home life. They need mm-hmm. to come out and celebrate everything. And that get it But yeah. we, Houston does a great job of coming together. And oh, yeah, we saw that during Harvey. Right. And, and this well, is another relief from an, another all of that of Harvey. These come families come, come yeah. on out to the Houston Children's Festival um, that weekend. They're going to have a great time. Yeah. And then go on uh, HoustonChildrensFestival.com. Find all the entertainment, the schedule. We're going to have even the Power Crunch Zumba stage. Ooh. I mean, we got exercise for you guys, too. Everything. So, <laughs> so, so when, once you eat those McDonald's fries, you it's, can work it off at the, at the Zumba. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, right. you know, I, I just on a personal note, um, McDonald's has um, been there for me and yes. my family. Um, when I was five, I had open heart surgery. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm from Ohio. And so it was at the uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Yeah. And across the street was the Ronald McDonald House. Right, uh-huh. And that is where my mother stayed while I was, you know, having um, my surgeries and whatnot. And so I remember um, going over there and just looking like it was just so nice. And she felt, you know, comfortable. And so just from that, just being a kid, you know, you five years that. old, just remembering Ronald McDonald and, then, and the McDonald house, Ronald <laughs> McDonald house, like all of that. Yeah. I got to say, what's up to Ronald? Yeah, no, like, you, hey, you he remember me I was 30 something <laughs> years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah. did. We're such so, a great you know. community partner and especially all of our local, right. um, all of our local franchise at McDonald's are just, they're such a great partner for us in this organization. And There's over 320 something uh, McDonald's in the city of Houston and greater Houston. And actually them being the title sponsor, mm-hmm. they do it because of exactly what you were saying. They want to mm-hmm. be part of families. Um, they want to be part of an event that is part of giving back to this great city and this community. They're a great community partner. Um, it's actually um, over so many um, owner and operators. We're thinking McDonald's like the corporate, corporate McDonald's. Right. This is actually local. Local McDonald's. Local franchise. Owners, yeah, um, owners people who are doing this. Oh, that's. To do this. And come on yeah, now. Amen. That's, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's it's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, it's and they come Houston. together just for two hosts and title this event. Uh, well, uh, we want to see you on Saturday and or Sunday um, downtown Houston for the 30th annual McDonald's Houston's Children's Festival, along with Child Advocates, uh, 1030 to 630. Be ready. Wear something uh, comfortable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, there's going to be a lot of walking, a lot of activities. I mean, you've got the uh, Big Ten Family Adventure Zone. they got four stages of entertainment. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will be there. Yeah. Paw Patrol. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's going to be amazing. It's always- yeah and and uh, yeah yeah Nancy Miguel, Miguel yeah, from from Miguel from, from the movie Coco. So um, th- Ashley Kelly, thank you all for thank coming you. through. It's so so good to see it's you again. Good to see you. Yeah, thank absolutely. And and, and we'll see you guys you down guys there. You've been a great partner, by yeah. the way. We'd love to see you out there that weekend. It'd well, thank you so much, and thanks for coming on. Yeah. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Welcoming back my favorite people. Uh, from Baker Ripley. It is that time again. The lovely Christina Cave. Hi, oh, Christina. How are you? Happy you. New Year. Happy New Year and happy tax season. Oh, well, it is <laughs> tax season. It is that time. And you guys at Baker, uh, Baker Ripley, uh, formerly known as uh, Neighborhood Centers, um, are here to save the community once again yes. with your free tax preparation. Yes. And actually, we're very happy because this is a 10th year that we are serving the community with free quality tax preparation. Ten years. Ten years. Can you imagine that? So in this time, we've prepared over 288,000 tax returns. Wow. Just on, just that. And then we've uh, helped families claim over $590 million in credits mm-hmm. that they 
earn and they've worked hard to. And we know that that's money that goes back to our community. So we're proud of it and we're proud of the people that get certified and help at our tax centers. Mm -hmm. And in this uh, year, we're very proud to have 11 locations all over the greater Houston area to help 11. our families. Yes. Yeah, so you got Harris County covered oh, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> yes, yes. So we have locations down in Bay Area, up in East Aldine. We have in close to downtown in the navigation area. We have Southwest. We have Pasadena. We have Fourth Bend. We have it covered. So yeah. families and individuals that earn up to $58,000 qualify for our services. Mm -hmm. And if you qualify, just look no further. Just come. Uh, you can visit our website. That is uh, freetaxcenters.org or call 211, which is the United Way helpline. So mm -hmm. you can learn where is your nearest location. Okay. So that's uh, 211 for the United Way line to find out where the location is. You know, tax season also breeds a lot of tax scamming. Yeah. You know, um, of uh, I hate that people like to prey on the less fortunate or would want to weaponize something that is uh, designed for as or as an agent of change. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some of the red flags that uh, families and, and just individuals need to look out for yeah. when it comes to um, getting your taxes done, paying uh, your yes. taxes, all of that? So one of the big, big things is that if it looks too good to be true, <laughs> run <laughs> it away. It probably is, yeah. I've seen hundreds of these yard signs mm -hmm. all over the city claiming that they can find a way for you to get up to $5,000 per child that you claim. Believe me, I have no idea what formula they're using <laughs> to get that, you know. Um, it's, it's very rare. And what we're saying is um, most of these places, they don't have um, a set amount or a set fee for their services. Mm -hmm. How they work is, well, it depends on the refund that you're that getting. You're, yeah. So yeah. that is a big red flag because okay. what they're going to do is add credits and add things and itemize and mileage and expenses. So your refund is going to look just yummy, super big, because they're going to get a big cut out mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And then you go out of it like, well, these people really know what they're doing. They're getting a big refund. But then a few years later... The IRS will go back to you, mm -hmm. the taxpayer, because you sign it. Right. The tax prepared, they just did that service. Right. And, the and, one and that they're it, done. Yes, exactly. So then the IRS says, well, you claim all of these credits. Do you have a way to back up that information? And sometimes people don't understand what they're saying because they trust the tax, the prepared, tax preparer, you know. Yeah. So, Absolutely. of course, they go back. And most of the times, that tax preparer is long gone. Because, of course, they only are open conveniently from, from January the end of, to about half, May. Uh, yes, or, you know, or even like half that. of April. You or know, as soon as, April, right. tax <laughs> soon as the 15th done, is over on the 16th, they're <laughs> uh, closed. Bye -bye, <laughs> you know, so they don't have someone to ask what's going on. And, of course, once they understand what's going on, they see that they owe tons of money to the IRS. Because you have to give back all that money, mm -hmm. plus pay penalties and, play in, and pay interest that has been adding since the day that you filed your return. So I'm, I'm only asking if, is it worth it? You know, and, and just stay away from those places that don't have a set fee that will, oh, and then sometimes they give you an estimate. Mm -hmm. And in order to give you an estimate, they practically are preparing your taxes. You know, they need your social security. They need how much money you made, everything. So they go in the system, they prepare your taxes they just don't send that information to the IRS. They tell you, so your refund is going to be such and such. Shut and up. then you say, well, you know what? Uh, no, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll think that again. You step out of that office. And some of them, they are very professional and they'll erase all that information. But uh, some of them won't. So they'll start adding credits to that tax return. They'll file that, send that to the IRS. So once I'm ready to, to file. Mm -hmm. And then the IRS will come back to me and say, you know what, Christina, you already sent out this uh, tax return and I already sent you your refund. I'm like, oh, what are you saying? <laughs> so that's when the big headache starts and you have to get that, work with the IRS with that, which will take several months. Mm -hmm. 
you have to get all of your social security number, everything, because your identity was stolen, basically. Mm. And you won't see your refund for several months. And it's just a mess. So that, just watch out on that. That is wild. Yes. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Christina Kay from Baker Ripley. They are offering a free tax preparation, free quality tax <laughs> yes. preparation uh, for families and individuals uh, up to $58,000. They've got 11 locations uh, throughout Houston and Harris County. So you can, you can, um, you can, you can get to them any, anywhere because <laughs> 11 locations, they've pretty much got us covered. So I don't know how, um, privy you are on this, but, uh, I, I just want to ask, mm-hmm. you know, for, for the listening audience with the recent, um, tax reform bill that has uh, just recently here passed in, in Congress and the Senate uh, mm-hmm. with the Trump administration. Um, will that affect people? Well, well, first, let me go back and say what the Republicans are saying is that, you know, uh, the middle class or the working poor, if you will, um, they will see an increase with their paycheck and <laughs> Uh, Last weekend, I believe Paul Ryan had tweeted out something about uh, a young lady who saw a a one dollar and fifty cent increase in her pay. And that's and, you know, and she was happy. And that'll be enough to cover a year ship membership at at Costco. And, you know, of course, he deleted the tweet. But I'm just like, what a, you know, name that I can't say on the radio. Um, How will the Trump tax bill affect everyday people um do they have a little while to wait or will they see this immediately are you even privy to this type of information so what what i can tell you is what we know so far and is that right now if you're doing your taxes you don't have to think about that because okay. we are presenting what we do, what we did in 2017 in but for this year and as we are right now if you are getting paid by your boss and you get a pay stuff you know, every 15 days or something, you will see some changes. And what we advise people is to stay in the loop because uh, there will be some adjustments on your tax withholdings uh, because the brackets have changed. You know, Mm -hmm. we're still studying all of that. But just check on that and be uh, on the top on your payroll because if there's some adjustments that you may need to do in order to get a refund, Next year, just check on that. Your payroll um, area must be having fun by right now because it's very, it's very complicated to be mm-hmm. honest, and it's in a very uh, busy time of the year for everyone, but for payroll especially. Mm-hmm. So just be on the top, and I would recommend anyone that has uh, an employer to guide to guide you and to let you know, okay. Now I'm getting this much, you know, I'm, I'm earning a little bit more. It looks like that because I'm, I'm giving less as, as taxes, Mm -hmm. but will, will I be seeing a a refund next year? Mm -hmm. Should I ask for you to withhold more money for my taxes? So, so do I need to switch up my, uh, W9, uh, wait, not W9, uh, the the, W4, the W4, there we go. That's also going to change because they, they change a lot of things in, in, in terms of dependence. Mm -hmm. So we may also see changes uh, in that. So, Again, just stay on top with payroll. I'm I'm not a a, a huge financial person. I mean, I know Mm -hmm. enough to kind of, you know, just keep my finger on the pulse. Um, But is all of this going to really help us? Or or, or are we going to see? I mean, because here's the way that I see it. Mm -hmm. What they just did. I remember in the Bush administration, like we've tried it this way. We've tried the trickle down economics and we see what happened with that, I mean, we had a great recession. I mean, mm-hmm. we were almost close to in the soup lines if, you know, Obama yeah. wouldn't have came in in 09 and kind of helped, you know, cleaned up that mess. Now we're doing the same thing again. We already tried it this way. We see what happens. So now we're going back to it. And here recently, especially with last weekend, with the Dow, you know, plunging two days in a row, Friday and and, and that Monday, you know, um, so I don't understand. And I'm with why you, KG, because 
you know, as an agency and me as a citizen, as a taxpayer yeah. and as a community developer, you know, because that's what we call us at, at Baker Ripley. What we want and what we strive is for ways to our families to actually have the means to to learn, belong and be out there and, and give back to our community. So we we are positive, you know. Believe me, I'm with you on that. Yeah, <laughs> and, I mean, and it's, it's so so confusing. So and I, it's greedy, and I, I really like uh, as a program, as an agency, and as a taxpayer, I'm just looking for for the best. But what I want people is to stay on top of things. Uh, uh, that's one of the big messages that I'm sending out. Like, stay on top of things, and do what you can do in your community. Mm-hmm. That that really makes a change, and uh, we have a big year coming. And a lot of responsibilities in our hands. So it's from registering to vote, going out to vote, right. and staying on top of, of your information. Because sometimes I, I, I think that we just think that, oh, that's I should not even care about that or I don't understand. We need to stay on top of things. S- stay woke, everybody. Now is not, <laughs> now is not the time to take a nap. Now, now more than ever, pay attention yeah. and, and, and do some good for your community just like the great people at Baker Ripley is doing with free quality tax preparation for families and individuals that earn up to uh, $58,000 a year. They have 11 locations throughout Harris County where you can get this free quality tax preparation. And it's uh, going through April the 17th. Yeah, that's tax day, April yeah. 17th this year. But just wipe that uh, date out of your mind. Right. Come and, and get just your get taxes it done. done. <laughs> right, just get it and done. And to know where your nearest tax location is, you can visit our website, that it's freetaxcenters.org, or call 211, that is the United Way helpline. They have operators 24-7. And even if you have any other need, they'll be able to to connect you to the right um, service. <sighs> You guys are godsends. <laughs> Thank you. Christina, I mean, you you guys do everything from, you know, helping to facilitate uh, and, 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 and run Harvey shelters <laughs> to uh, collecting items for the victims to getting people's taxes done. And it's because we also are part of this great community, that it's Houston, and we have amazing volunteers and sponsors helping us and amazing friends in the media that help us spread out the, the word. Oh, well, you know, whatever part that I can play, you know I love you guys. <laughs> thank so you. thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, too, and happy tax season. Happy tax season. <laughs> and thank you for listening to Access Houston.